Hi folks and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a story time. Um, it's just the first video back officially to the con to the channel, and this is also a brand new webcam, which is my Agato um, Mark II webcam, which is 1080p 60fps, so it should be a lot smoother on screen. And I wanted to do this for three reasons. This video one to explain what's happened in the PC over the course of the last year, and give context to why, give you context as to why the Content's been massively affected, and why I've been massively affected by it. Also, to practice another long video of me talking and trying to keep the pace at a good level, so you guys can hear me and be more clear to you guys. And also uh, to showcase the new camera, and it should look a lot smoother. It's basically, 1080p, 60fps, and move my hands around so you can see there's movement of the 60fps. And it should be a lot clearer and cleaner when we do like the cut scenes, that kind of thing. Um, so. Because a few of you have been asking in the comments section about what was the bug, what's been going on, what was the issue, why couldn't it be fixed? So, um, if you're not wanting to sit here for the whole story, um, fair enough. We are back making content. I recorded a video today with Man United on FM24. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to release the videos yet. Um, it's going to be a bit of time before I do that, but we are working on it. I'm not sure it's actually in the right place with webcam. That's a bit better, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, I just thought I'd do a video to explain. I'm trying to look at the camera and then look at the screen, and then obviously I'm not looking at the screen. <laughs> so, um, it's coming back content on this channel. I was not not sure when I'm going to release the video, but it'll be coming up pretty soon. So, let's talk about what's been going on with this um, essentially PC. So, we have to go back to last year where I got a refund from the other company because my PC with them wasn't working correctly. Uh, they were not even responding to any quest to try and fix it. Um, so obviously, you get, I, got, I got a full refund, went to this new company. Now, before I get into the story, essentially, this new company, the company I've been dealing with until recently, I cannot fault them. They were It was convenient because they were only half an hour away from us. They were quick to respond to questions, phone calls, queries. They, every time it went back to the PC, it was put on a priority return, so they dealt with it quickly, quickly or at least as quick as they could. So I can't fault them in terms of like what they were trying to do and, and trying to help me. We just couldn't get we just couldn't get anywhere with it. So um, we bought this PC. It's a lot more in depth than it was before. Um, we had like AIO in it, um, a much better graphics card. A much more powerful CPU, which is basically a CPU which has got a 3D cache in it. That means that PC, the, the games can you play on it can be helped out by especially those games that are more CPU dependent, which is processor. Um, and it gives it a little boost when needed. Um, which could be the reason why we've got a problem with it potentially, but we'll get to that. So it's more in depth, and it had more RGB in it, it had a, a liquid cooler in it, which I never had before. So I'm always a bit, I was a bit skeptical about that, but apparently that's the way to go. Um, at least for these these guys, because these guys you couldn't just buy any product and give it to them to put into it. It's only ones they have in stock, and they didn't have the cooler that would be super cool for this processor. So I had to go with AIO. So we got it back. First day I had it. About well, two or three days into it, maybe four days into it, I was getting beep codes errors. Now, in case you don't know what that, what that means, is when you boot a PC up, especially many a desktop, you'll get what's like an OK beep, and that is the BIOS. And motherboard saying everything's okay. It, you get the hardware on you go to Windows. And if you've got a glass panel, you'll see various LED lights on it, which will say this is checking this, checking that. And there's four lights on it. Usually it's CPU, VRAM, which is um, your graphics card, I think, and then DRAM, which I think is your RAM, then boot, which is the final one, which we say, can we boot? Yes, we can. You've got a obviously there, we can boot into it. I was getting beep codes saying there's a problem. Um, didn't know what it was. I'm not trained to know that's why I get warranty. Or I or why I buy PCs with warranty with the company that makes them. And so I sent it back saying, look, it's it it's showing me error codes and also it's freezing and lagging randomly. They checked it, said, yep, the RAM's faulty. Okay, fair. I think the RAM was kind of new um, in terms of like the model and spec and things like that. So maybe it was a bad batch and got unlucky. So, okay, they replaced it. Okay, that's fine. Replace it. 
got it back that week. Then literally two days later, same thing again. Now, in hindsight, knowing what was going to happen in the next few months, I should have said then, refund now, price now, you've had a fault with this RAM. I don't want to go down this route again. However, the process doesn't really allow for that when they do things. They just replaced it and sent it back to me. And then we were basically okay for a period of time. There was issues with other stuff like IQ, which controls the lights and all the cores. There products that run there for the RGB, but that's an IQ issue. It's known to be glitchy. There's issues with a fan speed error, but that's because the pump for the for the liquid cooler was put into the CPU fan header, which is like it should be. But the problem with that is that the move board make I had don't like that, and it, it was a false error up saying we can't detect any cooling on your CPU. It's going to overheat. When there is one, clearly is a fan and liquid coolings and whatever. So it's just the, the speed of the pump not quick enough to register. They want to. I can't, I can't phrase this. The speed of the pump doesn't register quickly enough for the motherboard to detect that there's a cooler in there. So it's, it's, it's a false error. And Corsair said, "Yes, yeah, that's that, that's that's a known issue with the Asus motherboards." Fair enough. So then what happened was we had issues with a fan. Uh, it had three case fans at the front, which basically one of the bottom was rattling a lot. Now, some may say, oh, it's only one fan, but you've paid for three fans and you want to use them all to keep it completely cool and draw more cool air into the PC to help cool the radiator. Um, also, I've got three fans. I want to use them. I just, just why, would I, why wouldn't I? Um, and it was just bizarre that it wouldn't, it was rattling. Send it back. They said at one point with that uh, issue, particularly they couldn't find an issue. Even though I should have recorded it, to be fair, but whatever. I think they replaced it anyway to, as a precaution. But another thing that happened, this is important later on in the story, is, as you know, I render, I render videos. Now, at the time of this, these issues, I had a program called Adobe Premiere Pro. I've, sw I've since switched because a Premiere Pro and Adobe, Adobe generally asks you to subscribe to monthly subscriptions, which is not great. I prefer to pay one off payment and then have that software forever. I now use something called DaVinci Resolve, which is a one off payment software. And any updates they bring out for the software, you get them for free. So I wish I that years ago. But anyway, when I rendered the video in Premiere Pro, all of a sudden there was a, like a, how can I describe the noise? And it's like a, a noise, I'll call it, coming from the pump, not a fan noise, not a, a uh, whining noise from like the fans making the fans didn't make a noise when they were resonating with each other, but this was like a like a crackling, for a word like a fluffing crack, fluffing fluffing noise. How can we describe it specifically when I was running videos. Now this indicated to me that there's been some stress put on the CPU because some software, even though it's using GPU, still uses a bit of CPU power to you know to do it. So I sent it back to them. They were saying to me, no, that's normal. I'm like, well, it wasn't doing it before. It is now. Uh, they replaced the, the cooler at that point, but I then since found a software that was, was I mean, she resolved that um, was one of payment and I could just use that. So that was fine. So we didn't get it back again. And we still have issues with Foot manager lagging when I'm closing it down, um, software taking a long time to load up, slow boots occasionally, which are normal with AM5, which is what it was AM5 motherboard, the, the normal. But what the kicker was, was um, what Saturday would it have been? Um, not last Saturday, the Saturday before, so in October, I turned the PC on after being at, to be at a local football game. And it would not boot. All I got was the lights coming on the motherboard and nothing. Nothing else was going on. I couldn't get the thing to boot any higher anymore. I couldn't, it wouldn't do anything. There was no error codes, nothing. Now it may, I, wait, I waited like a good three or four minutes. Um, it felt like an age. Didn't boot. So, okay, turn it off. Try again. This time when I turned it on, Various red lights came on on the motherboard. Now, they usually come on in, in one. It was CPU, DRAM, B, uh, graphics card, then boot. More than one came on. When it did finally boot, the CPU 
came on. That stayed on the red light, meaning it detected a problem with the CPU. Go back to what I said about the rendering videos and the noise coming from the area of the CPU pump and processor. Could there be an issue there? So I got into Windows. I shut it down at one point. It wasn't shut down. Turned it man manually. Tried it again. This one of the times I tried shutting it down after that, it gave me a blue screen error, which was something to do with the audio driver, which makes no sense. So at that point, I'm like, right, I've got a photograph now of that CPU light on the motherboard. I've got a crash dump error from the blue screen error. And I've also got video of um, a light on the motherboard staying on when it shut off. So we've got issues. I've got photographic video and proof of this. At one point, they had the PC for a month because I'd made a claim in my bank to try and get a refund from them, saying it's not fit for purpose. What's going on? And it takes time to go through the whole process. They, then back, the bank said, we don't have evidence to show that you can get a refund, so you have to go with them. This time, I had evidence. Bear in mind, guys, the PC at this point had been back six times since November last year. So, and each time, it's at least a week. If it's ready on the Friday, but we're not really, in, we we bought, we collected it ourselves. So it takes half an hour to get there. I'm working. There's no guarantee when we're ready. They don't open weekends to collect things. So it could be like, drop it off on Monday, and a week later, get it back. Maybe longer, depending when you drop it off. So six times been back. But this time was different because the person I've been talking to on the refunds lead said to me, said, well, based on the fact that you've got, video, photographic proof, and a crash dump error, it might be a case of we get it back, we test it, we can't find the fault, but because you've got evidence, we accept there's a really random intermittent fault, and we can then refund it, you know, in, in spite of not being able to recreate the error ourselves. Then they obviously did the test, they came back, the guy who done the test said they couldn't find anything wrong with it, not surprised, but I got an email that, that following Thursday, Basically said, okay, we are going to give you a refund. Brilliant. All right. I paid. Now, when I say this number, I didn't pay all this because remember, I got a refund on a credit card when I was in credit a bit. So I paid £2,500 for this PC. I didn't pay that because a lot of it was, over half of it was given from a refund from another company when they put on the credit card. So it wasn't really that much money I paid out. They reduced, it, they reduced it to 2,350 something. Reason being was they said the motherboard, because they at one point they replaced motherboard to try a different one, see that fixed the problem. And I didn't, get, I didn't, give, them, I didn't give them the aerials, aerials back. I don't recall getting them, for starters. Anyway, also there was scratches on the box, on the, on the case. We made, we made the point in an email replying to that, that it had been back and forward so many times that it's going to get scratched because I, in that because all the time. And they said, if you mentioned that before you returned it, we would maybe forgotten it. I can't tell you about a scratch if I'm not looking for one anyway. And also a bit off because they couldn't re re replicate the fault, but they see evidence that there is one, which is a thing I've done. I think I've seen that I heard before. I think it's, I don't know it's called, is it a pro router refund where you accept there's a fault, You've not seen it yourself, but we accept it as a fault, but it's been used for a year or two years or whatever. So we'll give you some money back, not all of it back. But at that point, we said, you know what? We planned to email, making our points about the case and that kind of thing. We said, if they, if they, if they still disagree with that, do refund. Got the money. So that is, imagine this, six times been back. So literally, literally once every, every other month. Sometimes there for a month. They replaced anything in it. RAM was replaced, I think, at one point, obviously. Um, I'm not sure they replaced the graphics card. They might have done. The only thing I know they didn't replace the seat with the CPU, I don't think. Um, but that was what's been going on for the last year. That's what's been happening. That's why I've been so disappointed and frustrated. Because all I want is a PC that works. To sit here and play my games. Um, without worrying about it. So, obviously, we went for a refund. A refund was issued last Friday. 
um, it came through over the weekend, I think it came through, actually, or was it Monday morning? Or Mon before Monday, I think. I've been talking with a company called Scan Computers, um, and they have got a spec for me ready to do, build with. Um, I've ordered it. This will take about, I'll get it on the 20th. It's because they ordered some parts in that they're in stock, but not in the warehouse. I never queue. You can't pay for like a, a fast track build. So I think I've got the email on screen. If I just tell you the date, the dates of this. Which I'm not too worried about, really. I just, I've got a laptop I can do, that I can do things on, so I'm not too worried. Where are we here? It's not that one. It is this one. So, probably I'm going to be white right now because I've got the white screen on the screen. So, yeah, it's been um, been reserved for a build slot in the state-of-the-art lab, state lab on the 14th and Jupiter's back on the 18th. Go in touch, blah, 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 blah. So, I'll probably get the PC, the new one, on the 19th of... Um, this month, which is completely fine by me. I'm okay with that. Um, and, you know, it's basically a different RAM, different processor. It's air cooled. There's no RGB fans um, in it. It's basically what I had before, just more base, really good spec for gaming. Uh, but obviously, these things take time. Um, and we're waiting now for it to come through. And it was various bugs and issues. The first time I got a blue screen there was that issue I talked about with the booting and not shutting down. I had issues with foot manager lagging when I was shutting it down. I had issues with FM completely lagging completely when I was trying to go through inbox. Issues with um, OBS not responding when, shut, when closing it down, which is not normal. Issues with um, a weird noise being made because of my Elgato. Had to uninstall it and change the ports on it to stop it doing it. I've got it in here now plugged in, not made a single noise yet. So there was clearly something wrong with that PC. And it was a the most annoying part of the whole process was we couldn't do something every time to cause the problem. So it wasn't like if I did this, crash. If I did this, freeze. If I did this, overheat. If I did this, the noise, you know, it wasn't. And also, when you return the PC to the company I got it from, they don't ask for your peripherals to come with it, which is annoying. Um, so you can't like to say, well, can you test it out with all these things connected to it and see what's going on? Whereas this new company is a three-year warranty. They will first year come to the site and look at it. So this is brilliant. If it's something that I'm doing, every time I do it, I get a noise like this. They can come and look at it and think, okay, it's because of this, because of that. Tighten this up, loosen that, whatever it may be. Update this, update that. Check all the components. Do test on it with all the things connected to it. Then go from there. After that, it's two years, well, another two years with turn base and that kind of thing. So that is great. Um, they're also open ten days a week to do technical support. That's on Sundays, obviously. So we're now waiting for the PC to come back. Uh, it's not been built yet. Um, we've got laptop here, which is. Can I lift this up? Can you see that? There, look. I don't go any higher because I've got issues with like um, so many cables. It's more cables like this than a bloody uh, electric uh, electric box. Um, so many cables and stuff in here. Um, so yeah, um, we're waiting for it to come through. But I can't fault the company I was dealing with. They were really helpful. They tried. We were trying. I was just saying what's going on. Um, they were very quick. It's prioritized every time. Everyone I spoke to was good. Apart from one person who didn't understand what was going on uh, and didn't, and just was a bit of an idiot, honestly. Just like issues and stuff. Oh, no issue was my RGB on my mouse. That's working on here uh, without having fast boot enabled, whereas the other PC, it wasn't. So that's an issue. So, um, yeah, um, that is over. that's what was going on. And picture a year of this with work and other things going on. Picture a year of this mess. Um, it was not great. wasn't fun. Didn't enjoy it. Um, but now we're hopefully. It gives me time. It's actually a good thing in a way because it gives a full refund. I can just get my head away from that old PC problems and get ready for the new one. Um, in terms of content, this webcam that I'm using here for this video, I can have it on during the FM videos because I'm just using a PC. But when I'm using my if you watch my other channels, my recording for 
console or my recordings for console really i can't have both plugged in because i've only got two usb ports one's got a hub in it which is a, and one's got one's a 3.0 it needs 3.0 above both a gato and this webcam and i can't use a hub to put them in so i can't use them both at the same time um but this is what you're going to see on the videos going forward this webcam going forward um you're going to see that so um if you made it this far um, the FM content is going to be exclusive to this channel only. We're not going to bring the AFC to it. Is it? The vote was a tie, which really was not annoying, which was really annoying. So I'm going to upload the videos to FM, the equivalent the of the channel. We're going to do one list play at a time, one of the views. I've got some experiments planned, a one experiment plan with a certain manager who's won the Premier League. Guess who? Um, and yeah, I'm not sure when the videos will come out. I've recorded a video today. Um, for FM 20 with FM 07 08 Man United series, uh, I'm not sure it's gonna go live. I'm probably not gonna do it tonight. If I go to chill and watch United not win in Europe again, um, you're gonna see shorts on the video on the, on, the, on the channel as well. I'm really pushing them to help the revenue, but I also want to put them on here as well. It's the way to get more exposure to the channel. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for the support. That may give you an indication of what's been going on the last year and why I've been getting down of it. Imagine a year of a PC you don't trust and it going back and saying no issue, you get it back and something else goes wrong. Luckily, I was so good with that video, with that photograph. If I hadn't taken a photograph of that CPU light, we may not got anywhere with it. Though maybe would have got away with it with the blue screen error because the blue, blue screen error was there. Um, but yeah, I like to have come. Cast who my hands are. 60 FPS, bros. It's a better webcam than I've I, I've had my eye on it for a while. My webcam is okay. I have to, get, have to keep using it for now, but this one will be one I'll use going forward. It's even got a shutter on it to shut things when I'm not using it anymore, which is cool. So yeah, I'll catch you guys all later. I'm going to get something to eat. Um, and I'll catch you guys all very soon. Thanks for watching. I hope this explains what's been going on. Um, there's various issues with the PC. I'm not going to get too technical, but basically, nothing was. It, it, never, it never felt like it was working correctly, but maybe we'll get there. Maybe maybe, we'll, maybe this new one, hopefully, please, will be stable enough that we don't have to worry about this kind of problem anymore and we can call things and just crack on. Thank you for watching, folks. Video's coming back very soon. But obviously, I'm working tomorrow, Friday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then um, whatever. But I will record when I have time to do so. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.